Happy Hollow Park is a well-used community park that many people enjoy spending their time in, but the park has much more potential than it is being used for. The goal with Happy Hollow Park was to create a community park with multiple social and recreational uses and to add more multi-demographic activities and events that will draw people in. The park still has playgrounds with new educational trails and experiences for children. It now has a sports trail, basketball courts, and sand volleyball courts for recreational activities, as well as a skate park and amphitheater as new features. The trail system that runs from the main entrance of the park out into the other access points include the main trail for walking and light recreation, as well as a sports trail that is higher up in the slope and more rugged for guests who want to use the park for exercise. Both the main trail and the sports trail will have both biking and pedestrian options. The bike lane can be used for longboarders and skateboarders as well who want more experience outside of the skate park area. There is also a small children's trail that starts at the learning area near the plaza and leads to the amphitheater. Along the trails, there are learning and resting stops that focus on the erosion of the site, as well as other educational trails that focus on the native vegetation in the site and the wildlife that the park supports. The art and nature trails in the site have native plantings and sculptures that have informational signage that educate guests on the wildlife in the park. The Park Welcome Center is a new feature that offers information about the park, spaces for specialized or seasonal activities, restrooms, and other amenities. The Welcome Center is surrounded by a paved plaza that has seating and resting spaces for people to eat, relax, or just pass through on their way to other experiences in the park. There is a terrace staircase leading from the northern pass to the plaza to help support the slope. The plaza overlooks the creek so that guests can see the stormwater as well as the natural landscape of the park. There is a small children's learning space just off of the plaza where children can learn about the water on the site and other wildlife in the park. Another feature that was added is the skate park and longboarding park. This area has a main skateboarding park that can be used as an art piece through all seasons, but will have seasonal features for when the skate park is in less use. The park has many features for skateboarders to use, and it is also surrounded by a small longboarding trail system that leads out of the park to the main entrance. Along this trail, there are stops for skaters and longboarders to rest, do tricks, and there are small, safe opportunities for children to get involved with the skate park from the playground area. The skate park is built into the slope of the hill to prevent erosion in this area. The next key feature is the amphitheater in the back of the main park area. There are naturalized paths through the landscape that connect the amphitheater to the main path that runs by the volleyball courts and the basketball courts. There is a small dining area with seating and space for a pop-up cafe during park events. The amphitheater seating is built into the hillside to act as a retaining wall to prevent erosion. The amphitheater can be a gathering area for guests, as well as a concert space for local artists and seasonal events. Adding these programs to Happy Hollow Park will draw many people of different ages into the park to relax, recreate, and learn about the nature and wildlife of their local area. Thank you.